Hello, how are you? Shall we have some fun with flowers? I think great opportunity to do so. So um, today I thought we would make a pink and lavender arrangement with zinnias and dahlias and maybe some coxcomb celosia. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that all sounds good. Do you have your favorite beverage? I hope so. I hope when you're arranging flowers that you have your favorite beverage. I hope you have your favorite spot to do it. I hope you have it set up for you so that you enjoy it. I hope you listen to your favorite music. Perhaps it's uh, music for arranging flowers from Jay Schwanke's Life in Bloom, which was created by my friend Ben Scott Brand, which is a CD of 12 different flower songs that are the songs you hear on Jay Schwanke's Life in Bloom. So you can get those. You can go to ubloom.com um, and you can pick up the CD there. It's $20 or you can, you can, there's a link there to download it. You can download it as well. And so I believe the download's $10. And um, it's also available on Spotify. So if you want to listen to it, you can do that. It's great music for listening to while arranging flowers. Today, we have a vase. We're going to use a cylinder that is a frosted cylinder. And we are going to use Chrysler Professional 3 inside it. And then also, I've dropped a few CVBN tablets down inside because we're using flower stems that have a bit of... Um, a bit of fuzz on them, fuzzy stems. And so um, when we have those, then it's important for us to be able to utilize the CVBN tablets because it will help us reduce the bacteria levels in the water and make things last longer for us. I am using my compact pruner from DRAM and also my bypass cutter. And we are going to create that. I have my gray shirt on today so that you can see the beautiful flowers in the vase and be able to contrast with them. And let's get started, right, right? Okay. So let's see, I think I'm gonna use a bit of scented geranium. And I think that will be pretty inside here. And then I have a pasta outside that is um, a beautiful, beautiful chartreuse green. And um, so we're going to add a little bit of those chartreuse green hosta leaves in here that are just gorgeous. These are them. Right here. Oh, yeah. Look at those. Look at those. It's just beautiful chartreuse green. Um, this arrangement uh, actually is going to go in the bedroom. And um, in there, I have uh, a purple walls, again, for protection. I love the purple. Um, no white walls in my house. Sorry. No white walls. So no white walls on the set here. Sorry. No, 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 no. We, uh, we just have um, purple. Um, but yeah, no, let's see. So in the house, just so you know, I have a guest bedroom that has brown walls. I have um, in, the, in the bathroom, it's navy blue. The other bathroom is chartreuse green and orange. Um, the office is a lime, a celery green. Um, this room is purple and blue. Upstairs, living room is aqua. Uh, flower room is yellow. Um, hallways are purple. Um, in all cases, mudroom area is purple. So yeah, I love color. Um, there is not a white wall in this entire house. <laughs> So there's that, there's that bedroom purple. And then I have a beautiful floral mural, which you've seen if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook. So that's there. Um, let's see, I'm gonna use just a piece of hydrangea foliage in there too. Um, I'm gonna let my hydrangeas grow long, grow. I, I, I tried to prune them last year. Um, it's funny. So I, I, we did the, some things with Proven Winners, and I love um, Natalie at Proven Winners. She's so hysterical. She's so funny and so knowledgeable, incredibly knowledgeable. And we planted a whole bunch of hydrangeas this year. We planted uh, Kodiak Orange and Kodiak Red, which is a fabulous foliage that you'll see a little bit more of next year because I'm going to let it get established. We did a, um, a gold-colored Ilex, which is just dreamy. We have some red hydrangeas, some green hydrangeas, some... some uh, some glorious uh, PG hydrangeas that we've done. And so I was telling her about my my uh, my ones here. And these are not a proven winter variety. These are called Endless Summer that I have the blue ones. And, and she said, oh, Endless Bummer. <laughs> 
You know, Natalie's probably right. Um, I am so frustrated with these because our seasons just aren't long enough here in Michigan. And what happens is I get all these beautiful blooms at the bottom and nothing at the top. And so, um, and I swear to you, if I didn't trim them back, they'd be 90 foot tall. Um, but um, so this year I'm gonna let them go long again and see if I can get some blooms at the top again. I had one year where it was like perfect, but we'll see what happens, you know, with the way that, weather is acting it's very challenging to try and work with those so um if not she has a macrophola that is just adorable that she showed me and maybe maybe i will just get to the point where i'll rip out all the endless summer and put in all of her macrophylas from proven winners maybe that's what i should do right right a project with natalie it would be awesome so um okay let's get started with this so we've got a beautiful little set up a foliage that's gonna provide structure for us. And then we're gonna use lavenders and pinks. This was kind of the inspiration is this amazing dahlia for my friend Craig. Oh, look at it. it, wants to look white. It's not really white, it's actually lavender. Lavender with a little white center, absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna pull off any of the foliage that's gonna fall below the water line. We're gonna stick that little guy in here and support him with our beautiful um scented geranium i have a piece of coxcomb solotia that's pink we're going to put that front and center and you know what we're going to have to arrange these and rearrange them as we go along because you can see they're not wanting to behave we have got some burgundy dahlias that look like that I have a rubber band. <laughs> Another burgundy dahlia. Look at that. So here, oh, I'm going to show you a trick. So this one dahlia at the bottom has got some petals on here that aren't very pretty. And so my friend at Hamilton Dahlia Farm many, many years ago said, if you've got some petals on the back side of your dahlia, just go in and pull them out because they are not like a chrysanthemum that if you pull out the petals, they will shatter. These you can just remove and make your make your flower smaller. So if you have a big dinner plate dahlia and for some reason you would want to make it smaller, you could do that. But see now I just removed those little ugly petals on there. And now we can stick this right down into the center of our bouquet. And the thing I like about that, look at, we've got that great little depth that's happening down inside there. Now, this little guy, let's come back out here. Cause you know what? You are the hero of our bouquet there. Now that I have those other guys in there, they are going to help support a little bit more. And I am also going to switch this. So sometimes I go back and adjust. That's okay. You can do that. That's it. It's really important for you to feel that way about it. Oh, little spider right here. Okay. Um, you can do that. You can adjust. You can adjust if you want to. Um, look at this guy. Isn't that fun? So again, Dahlia's, I know I always tell you the story. They're octoploids. Some people believe that aliens brought the dahlias to us because they um have eight chromosomes so they are they are different than other flowers and that's why we can have so many different combinations i love it when there's a dahlia that's two colors and it's divided right down the middle that's my favorite i love when that happens so um yeah that's what we have okay now this is my little zinnia here he's got a little bent neck here but zinnias have such a strong vascular system that if i put him in this arrangement in the right spot and have him supported by other flowers he will just sit up there okay my friend craig brought me these i don't know what this is but it's pretty and it's lavender and we're going to put it in this bouquet right it wants to shed which is okay because you know as i've told you the story of constant spry that constant spry said about um about flowers that um she loved it the day that the delphiniums were dropping their petals upon the table because it allowed us to realize that flowers were fleeting and when they were fleeting that they are just simply a memory 
that we have for a short period of time. And that's part of the beauty of the flower is that the flower has a short lifespan. And I just think it's so true. And so I love it when they start to drop petals on the table. That's fun. You know, it's not like, oh, that's a problem. Oh. There's so many petals and pieces and bits and things in my home. And that's fine because that's what I love. I've told you before, it's like a frat house. You know, it's a flower frat house because flowers are the most important thing behind the dogs and Kelly. And um, so, yeah, flowers rain throughout the house. They get to do whatever they want. And, you know, I want to have those. I must always have flowers, always and always. Great quote. Look at that. Look at how pretty it is. It's so interesting. It's, uh, you know, it looks, it kind of looks peachy pink for those people who tell me that I should get a better camera. But, you know, it's free. We are enjoying our free time together. Look at that. Look at that coxcomb. Pretty. Look at how wide it is on the sides. Yeah. And it has a huge stem. Huge. Ugh. One, two times to cut through it. And then I want to make sure I remove all of this leaves and things that are going to fall below the water line because it's just going to cause bacteria. It's going to cause problems. Get all of that fuzziness gone so that it's pretty. See, now look, now it's clean. Okay, clean. And then we can put it in our bouquet right back here. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. Fabulous, right? Let's see if I have anything else. Oh, see, these are kind of, so these are, these are reclaimed. These were, these were from last week. Zinnias from last week. So they will pop into our bouquet as well. Pink one. Again, and its little neck is starting to collapse. And so I'm going to put it over here so it can be supported by the dahlia and stuff above it. See, it's tucked right down inside there, being all supported. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> this is just dreamy. That's just fabulous. You know what? I'm going to put this little guy front and center. Look at that right there. Pretty. Here's one more pink Xenia. One more purple one. These are just the leftovers from last week. So they're going to go another round. Go around one more time with everybody else. That's red. Not going to work here. Look at that little guy. We should have him in there, right? Oh, look, I have one more of these guys. So I think that goes right here, front and dead center as well. Look at that. Fabulous. So remember, our final step is always prize of professional glory. There we go. So that we have our beautiful arrangement. You can follow us um, on Instagram and also on Facebook so that you can see other pictures of these two with the accurate, with a beautiful color, accurate pictures that Kelly takes. So um, I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, our, our pretty pink and lavender arrangement today. 
I hope you had fun with flowers and I hope, uh, I hope, hope, send me pictures of what you're creating. I want to see them. Send them to me at J, the letter J, at U, the letter U, B L O O M, J at ubloom.com so that I can see what you're creating. Because I want to know how I've inspired you and what you've created. Because it's an inspiration for me, and I just delight in seeing the gorgeous things you're creating. Claudia Dinwiddle, Dinwiddie, you do such beautiful, beautiful work. I just love it. I love looking at those. Um, and let's see, I'm trying to think. Uh, Jackie Bice, send me your pictures. I love those. And you guys, uh, get, make, get, get those pictures into me. I want to see what they look like. I want to see what you're doing. I want to see the beautiful flowers you have in your home. All right. Until next time, keep having fun with flowers.